Hi and welcome. This video is all about the dashboard. We'll get to know the different statistics, their functions, and their practical applications. In the Experience Studio and the Dashboard, it gives you an overview of the performance of your app. If you navigate to another section and want to return to the Dashboard, click on Dashboard on the top of the menu. The first statistic, Latest Activities, shows you the most recent activities and posts created by you or other members with admin rights. Underneath, you can see the most recent comments. To see all comments, click on the heading Comments or select Comments in the System section. This is the User Statistics section. This shows you the number of registered and pending users. Registered users have authenticated and logged into their accounts. Pending users have not done this yet. Once you have invited all of your employees, this will show you how many people you've reached with your app and if you need to do something more to onboard your pending users. Latest users shows you the most recent users who've logged into the app. Active users shows you the number of users who have logged into the app at least once a week. You can switch between a week and a day view by clicking on seven days, yesterday, or one of the days shown. In the day view, you will see an hourly breakdown of the users who were actually active on that day. Only unique users are counted. So if they log in twice on that day, they will only be counted once. Active users can help you identify the best time to post content in your app. In our experience, most employees read app updates in their lunch break, in the evening, or when content has been pushed. Next, we have engaged users, showing users who have engaged with content by liking, commenting, or sharing. Same as with active users, you can switch between a week and a day view, and you can view specific breakdowns for comments, likes, and shares. You can see the most popular posts of the last week here and switch between the most viewed, most commented, most liked, and most shared. This statistic is not based on unique users, but all interactions will be counted. For example, one user could comment on a post multiple times. In the dashboard, you will also find a preview of the mobile view of your app. Within this mobile preview, you have the option to switch to a public view by clicking here. This is very useful when you want to check how public content will look for users who aren't logged into the app. This public area is a must if your app should be available in the Apple App Store. We'll explore more features of the Experience Studio in the next videos. And you can always find more information in our support portal.